Okay, so you got to the point that you need to fix those door jams that are all rotted and you don't have a clue how to do it. Or you may have a clue, but you want to make sure that you do the least damage as possible. So we are here and hello, I'm Hugo Correa. And in this video, I want to show you the steps that I took to be able to repair this extremely damaged um, door frame or door jams or door decoration plus jams. This is a three part door entrance. As you see, you see the wings on the side, the, the bottom parts of all these things are completely rotted. And obviously because on the bottom we have a lot of support, our door is not working properly and obviously is deteriorating rapidly and we don't want that. We want to make sure that we can change all this and that it works perfectly and you don't have an issue. So I'm going to guide you to the steps that I took in this case. You can fix this and you can make your project uh, during the weekend or whenever you're doing it as good as possible. So let's start with uh, the beginning. The beginning is that you have to determine what areas of your door jams are completely rotted or rotted and they need fixing. Um, this happens because obviously a lot of water is hitting that stuff and we don't have a good seal in between the aluminum on the bottom and the wood. And that's why the, the wood uh, is absorbing all the water. And obviously we need to consider that that is the support of the entire jam, the entire frame that we have in the door. So um, let's start by determining that. We can actually measure right now here. We have a 36 inch door. So that means that we have to find some door jams replace, uh, replacements that are 36 inches. And those are normally the, you know, the ones that you're gonna find. You can actually cut them to be small, like 32 inches or 30 inches. But normally you will find the jams at uh, 36 inches. So let's go ahead and um, you know go to the local home improvement store and look for those particular type of door jams. Uh, along the way, you're gonna find some shims perhaps. You're also gonna pick up some of the molding that is completely damaged as well. And the panels that go on the side as well. So we're gonna need all that. And one of the tools that is extremely important for, you know, um, us, the DIYers, are the oxalating saws. And this carbide bit, although it's a little expensive, and I'm going to leave you on the description box where you can actually get them as well. Um, you can uh, cut a lot of things with this carbide bits. I know that some of them are a little cheaper, but trust me, they won't last that long. You want to make sure that you can cut through nails and cut through all those things. And since you have a ton of uh, choices, uh, go ahead and pick up the best ones because that will save you a lot of money. This is the type of oxygen saw that I have. It works really well. And these are universal uh, blades. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting all that together. So we have also, you know, the wood. We have the, the brick mold. That is the uh, molding that is uh, around the perimeter of our door, entire door. Plus the door jam, plus the boards. These boards are going to have to be cut at six and a half inches wide. And these are trim screws. These are the ones that we're going to use for our molding around the door. So that is perfect. And as you know, uh, a tool world and any type of home improvement store is a really exciting place. So let's start with the demolition. The demolition uh, will start by removing the door, you know, take all those hinges out and start cutting nicely throughout the entire thing. Just cut all around. Make sure that you cut all those little trim nails with your new so let's take all those little moldings out and the most important thing over here you don't want to do a lot of pressure you don't want to hit those walls really hard with um hammers because you're going to damage the entire door remember that this is not attached to a particular frame it's attached to itself to the entire uh the two supports that are there so for us to make sure that it's going to stay nice and sturdy we need to make sure that we don't do a lot of damage now in this case, we have a lot of insulation and we want to make sure that when we take that out, we can put the insulation back. So we're going to go ahead and take uh, that insulation out, make sure that we put it on the side so we can put it back again into our new cavity there, into a new frame sec uh, section. So that's it. Let's cut that out. Make sure that you remove all those pieces. Make sure that you have all the other pieces together because you want to put them back. And on the outer parts of the frame, uh, we have, you know, right beside the jams, we had other parts that were rotted. And we want to go ahead and consider that and make sure that we can replace those sections that are rotted because those are not uh, as important as the ones that are holding the door. And I'm going to show you in a moment why uh, is that important. But you have the chance right now to clear all that, 
to put some glue down to make sure that everything is nice and clean so you can actually install your new treated this is actually treated um, door jams so it will be perfect because again if you have the 36 inch door perfect if you have a 32 inch door you can cut this to size and install it properly so you have to make sure that obviously the upper section you cut it a little bit longer because it's gonna go right inside the other parts now when you take the bottom part of your door jam uh, these particular ones have a particular shape and you want to make sure that you can trace that shape and cut it with your new blade oscillating saw if you notice it has a little groove there a little tongue there and you want to cut it with the right angle with the same angle that you have there so that's why it's important to remove the door jams carefully uh, now we're going to use some pneumatic guns i have this uh, 16 gauge two inch nailer and have some uh, nice uh, liquid nails or construction adhesive that is going to help us a lot that's going to be our key component to be able to make sure that everything is nice and sturdy so uh, if you don't have a, a compressor i encourage you to just get a set a small set of uh, compressor or a kit and it will come with like two or three guns and a small uh, compressor tank and it works really well so that's what i got in the beginning and it works really well and I've been adding more features to that, so it's fine. Let's clean this really well, this threshold really well. Make sure that everything is going to be, uh, uh, you know, ready for our silicone and our glue. And you know, you don't want mold over there and stuff. So you want to go ahead and clean all that out, wipe it. You know, use some sort of uh, cleaner and make sure that everything is nice and ready. So here it is. We actually installed it. Uh, frame all the way inside with those groups remember that the little groups are going to help you with the support on the bottom a lot of liquid nail uh, or just adhesive you know get some really good material and make sure that you put as much as possible because that's in the beginning what was actually holding all this together you want to make sure that you put everything back in place and i encourage you to use like inch and a half i mean two inch nails and like inch and a half small nails now is the chance to replace those uh, sides that were damaged and with the good parts of our old door jams i'm actually making this cut out they have an inclination they have an angle and you want to try them really well and the good thing is that you have enough pieces to try more than once if you have a little hole you want to go ahead and cut a second piece that is a little longer and that's it pack that with glue with a lot of construction adhesive and make sure that it slides really well over there make sure that you have a lot of adhesion over there and it's going to stay nice and clean that's why you can cut it a little higher until you find dry wood and obviously spread that um, glue really well inside make sure that you clean obviously you wipe the excess the one that is kind of you know messed up right there and uh, you have that ready obviously put some nails you know attaching that as good as possible uh, don't try to put nails against the aluminum because it's gonna, they're going to curve. So now those two side wings that are on the side, they are six and a half and there's not a, a piece that I can buy that is exactly six and a half. So I went ahead and got like a seven and a half and I marked the areas once I cut it to six and a half with the table. So um, you, cut, you, you mark the area so you know where you're going to put a lot of glue. That is the important uh, piece. If you feel like your your the middle of your uh, door jam or the frame is is not the the right size you want to go ahead and put a little support in between while you do this work so so it doesn't actually close on you in the middle because that's where you want the 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 lock to to you know strike really well so again we have uh good glue and, and just with the glue is kind of staying there so uh that's the cool thing of, about adding glue you know i start I uh, started using glue, you know, a long time ago and uh, works really well because it gives you that little extra strength on your project. So go ahead and install that. Make sure that you aim the, that gun correctly so the nails won't kind of, you know, come out of the thing and kind of twist and damage your wood. So you want to make sure that you install this properly. Now, remember that we are preparing this for obviously staying a long time over here. So the bottom, we wanna make sure that it's nice and clean. So we can put silicone, but on the edges, we wanna put a little bit of caulk. So exterior caulk, so we can actually install that. Look how beautiful the, the new brick mold looks and the moldings look like. They're a little, a little longer because the manufacturer uh, molding was not that good. And for this one, I'm using the inch and a half nailer 
uh, that is helping me to keep it nice and straight. And because you want to transfer all the measurements of your old door jams, I went ahead and marked it and installed, pre-installed the, the hinges there on the door. So now with the oxidating saw and a clean blade utility saw, uh, uh, knife, you want to go ahead and score around that perimeter before you put your, your uh, oxidating saw. Remember that you don't want to go more than one eighth of an inch inside. So you have to be careful working with your um, piece because look how beautiful it looks like but you have to be careful when you're cutting with it. You have to kind of become a little curious using the machine because you can actually go uh, deep or you can just chip a lot of your uh, uh, door uh, wood if you don't use it properly. So, you know, you just get hang the hang of it. It's an easy tool to work with. Now we want to make sure that the lines are really well. And obviously you're going to see a lot of light coming in because we are trying, we're testing the the you know the gaps in between and this is the, the time for you to adjust a little bit maybe uh, using some extra nails to kind of push the moldings to the side if you feel like it's not working properly but this is something that you want to make sure that it closes nice because the next thing that is going to happen is that you're going to put a little bit of uh, a cushion around you're going to put this seal that comes with it and you know you want to make sure that you leave a space so if you notice um i corrected before the the previous a uh, striking plate was a little bit low, so I went ahead and made some marks uh, just exactly where the, 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 the dead ball and the lock was were hitting and, and now you know exactly where they have to go. Measure really well, do the same process, cut nicely around and uh, again, prepare everything for your seals. These seals come with the new door jam and you just need to make a little trim cut on the top on the verticals and a 45 degree plus a little cut but everything is done with a utility knife obviously don't cut yourself don't cut your fingers if you're doing this because it can turn into a bloody thing you know so go ahead and, and make those little notches so they can actually go and it's not really well over there because you have that little um, you know cut out there uh, so you can be creative. You want to cut it in a, like a miter. You want to get rid of the little piece that goes there. It's up to you. But I go ahead and just cut it with a knife, the, the seal, and I put the one on top with a 45 degree angle. And it goes nice and snug there. And it will create that seal, that barrier for the weather, you know, for the heat or the winter uh, wind or cold weather to come in. So now you have to put a little bit of pressure, obviously. To, to lock it really well so that that is natural that's normal and you want to make sure now that in the bottom I have a little bit of light coming from the the bottom seal I want to go ahead and cut that bottom seal uh, you know just get a new one and, and put it in but uh, but other, other than that I mean it looks really well now remember that if you have a, a, a doorbell you want to again copy the height of your doorbell hole in this case I use like a half inch uh, uh, bead spade bead a butterfly bit and I use a little trim nail I mean three screws that are like three inch long or uh, two and a half three inch long so you can add this is the the size uh, they are actually two and a half inch long and they go ahead and you know tie those things really well because that's actually where you can put it against the structure so you want to go ahead and put in those verticals that and the other ones obviously your nail so that is how you can actually clear that really well and get it ready for your silicon the silicone in this case is a 100% waterproof silicone and you want to uh, apply to all the edges around in the bottom because that's what's going to make the difference for your new uh, door jam on your setup. Look how beautiful this thing looks like. It, it looks like it was to be a really messy job but it's not. If you are careful and you take these steps, you can actually come out with a beautiful design that is going to stay there for a long time. Don't forget about the glue and don't forget about subscribing to this channel because now you will see more content that is going to help you a lot. If you have friends that speak Spanish, I also have videos in Spanish. So thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, make some comments and like it so you can see more later on. Bye bye.